With the end of the school year in sight, we could practically taste the sweet fruits of vacation. But none would be more delish than Sharon Dion's Euro Tour 98. Two girls, six countries, 30 passport straining days. This would be perfect for strolling through those quaint little villages in France. <gasps> Who needs to stroll? For this price, we could rent a Bentley. You're right, let's just stick to the essentials. Oh, this trip is so Merchant Ivory of us. Riding side saddle in soft focus, sharing a baguette with a stable boy named Massimo or Hans or Jean-Luc. Names you just don't get over here. Oh, can you add this up, please? Oh, sorry, this credit card's been declined. <laughs> declined? Yeah, right. Like Mel Gibson at a woman's prison. There must be a scanning error. Run it through again. Oh, yeah, right. Right. It must have been my mistake. What could have happened? Maybe the strip on the back got demagnetized by my cell phone. Well, don't panic. There's always layaway. Oh, but that's so unnatural. Yes, I certainly will. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm sure they instructed you to apologize to her, right? Even better. I've been instructed to destroy this card. Ma'am, please, I'm begging you. There is no need to resort to violence. That card doesn't even expire till 2002. Oh, it's just a baby. Uh-huh. <gasps> She is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Looks can't deceive. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She'll steal you away. Not just for one. senseless destruction of my gold card still fresh in my mind, I return to something almost as bizarre. Oh, hi, honey. Daddy home at 5 o'clock on a weekday. Are you doing laundry, Daddy? Don't you worry. I washed all of your stuff in cold water, and I used plenty of conditioner. Fabric softener. Oops. Hey, I found this thing in the dryer. Uh, where do we recycle it? It's lint, Dad. Lucy usually throws it away. Remember Lucy, the lady you paid to do the laundry? Lucy's taking a little time off, personal reasons. You don't mind helping around the house a little bit, do you, honey? No, of course not. So how come you're not at the law office being a totally prominent attorney? What, like I never take an afternoon off? Well, I can only speak for the last 17 years, but no. OK, so I was overdue. How was school? Oh, thankfully, yawning to a close. But today after class, Dion and I went to the mall and this irrational retail psycho cut up my credit card. It must be some mix-up at the accountants. Ooh, I gotta go add some starch to the next load. Oh, you mean bleach, don't you? Well, they're the same thing, aren't they? Oops. Something was definitely non-kosher at Shea Horowitz. But what and why? As if Daddy's behavior wasn't weird enough, this morning I caught him giving himself a haircut. Hey, 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 what's so weird about that? You're obsessing about nothing. Uh, Gullible Avenue, your black captain is Dion. Isn't it time for you to flea dip your winged monkeys? OK, fine. Then I won't tell you that our maid happens to ride the bus with Cher's housekeeper, who is not <laughs> getting some time off but in fact was broomed by dear old dad. Uh, Daddy would never fire Lucy. She's like a member of our family. <laughs> well, as of this morning, she's like a member of the Eisner family. No way. Mouse away. 10 bucks an hour, a dental plan, and a half price season pass to Disneyland. Why would Daddy lie to me? Uh, without jumping to any inflammatory conclusions, <laughs> it's quite obvious that your father is either a habitual gambler or one of those white-collar heroin addicts I read about in Vanity Fair. 
Correction. As is so often the case, the key to this mystery lies within the wisdom of Murray. <laughs> I hate it when he does that. Yet another reason why I am way out of that deal. <laughs> okay, let's just say I was escorting this very beautiful lady out shopping. Did your grandma find that foot massager she was looking for? <laughs> When who did I spy enjoying an intimate sidewalk bistro lunch but Mel and Miss Sheila Wolf? Sheila Wolf, the real estate queen? That'd be her. Oh, forget the junkie theory. Mel is calling in sick to play doctor with that gold digging vixen. I'm saying. And maybe Mel fired Lucy because she caught them in a little escrow delecto. <laughs> Maybe way. You have to admit, I have kept it up nicely. Absolutely. And from the outside, you'd never guess it was this big. Oh! Oh, please, please don't let me walk in on anything that will scar me for life. Oh. Cher, I didn't expect you home this early. Obviously, but now that the wolf's out of the bag. What are you talking about? Daddy, if you want to date somebody, you don't have to hide it from me. <laughs> I think there's been a little snark up, honey. I'm not your father's date. I'm his realtor. You're selling our house? <gasps> oh, are you buying that little villa north of Sunset with the moat? Uh, no. Actually, you and I need to talk about stuff. I sense this is a family matter. Mel, I'll give you a ring later. You might want your people to touch up before the open house. Oh, and Mel? About you and me as an item? <sighs> My number's on the bus benches if you manage to turn things around. Mm. Toodles! If you manage to turn what around? I've been trying to find a way out of this, but you need to know. We're undergoing a bit of a financial crisis. <laughs> How could we be? You're a totally prominent attorney. Yes, but my totally prominent business manager has disappeared with all our money. Oh, my God. You better sit down. It gets worse. Apparently, not only did Lyle gamble away our money, but he neglected to pay my income tax. Whatever? Well, for at least the last three years. So now not only am I broke, but now I owe the government a fortune. So we have to sell the house? Cher, what else can I do? We're broke. Is it possible daddy means broke in the sense of broke? Cher, for the past week, I have tried everything to get us out of this, but unfortunately, I've run out of options. But, Daddy, you make a lot of money. You should be able to pay your back taxes in no time. Well, that's the other thing. In order to raise money, I had to sell my partnership in the law firm. Meaning? Meaning my name is no longer on the door. But you still work there, right? Well, until we can straighten this thing out, the partners felt that it was in the best interest of the firm if I took a leave of absence without pay. Daddy, after all you've done for them, how could they be so heartless, mean, and despicable? Well, they're lawyers, dear. I am so sorry. But you have nothing to be sorry for. You're the victim here. And we both are. Don't worry, we'll get through this together. Yeah. Right. No, really, we just have to be strong. <sighs> At least one of us has to be. And by process of elimination, it appears the strong one has to be me. At home and at school. This is an atrocity. No, it's a reverse Jefferson. You're moving on down. It's just not right. Guys, everything's going to be OK. So we'll move to a smaller estate and cut back on a few things. For instance, there is such thing as repeating outfits. I guess. Look, it's not that bad. I heard the catastrophic news, Cher. Let me give you the same tip that I give the homeless people who badger me at my ATM. Buy Microsoft. And in exchange, they give you fashion tips? 
Look, Cher's going to be fine. Agreed. Oh, see this economy lunch I made for myself? Who needs sushi when there's nutritious and affordable tuna fish? And tiramisu is easily replaced by a pudding cup. Four for a dollar. Yeah, and then when you're finished, you can take the empty cups and make earrings out of them. <laughs> and you can use the other two to make a bra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, it's just going to take some sacrifices. Starting with our summer European tour. We can only go to three countries instead of six. Gee, I can't go at all. I'm available. To sit next to me all the way across the Atlantic? There's not a vomit bag big enough. Dee, I've done research, and if we scale down, we can still have a fun summer, even if we stick close to home. <gasps> Hawaii. Well, I was thinking closer. For starters, there's the Gilroy Garlic Festival. And then if we take the scenic route through Oxnard, we can go window shopping in all the outlet malls. What is Oxnard? <sighs> home of the strawberry. Oh, but that festival is near the end of July. Oh, and then in August, we can go to the theater. I hear the West Covina Home for Unwed Mothers is staging this Fabo production of Annie. And you're playing her pregnant dog, Sandy? <laughs> OK, fine. I am going to stop <laughs> trying to help. I don't need any help. Daddy, however, is another story. He's taking this really hard. He won't leave his room. He won't answer the phone. His self-esteem is lower than his net worth. Hey, is he up for faking a devastating electrical fire? What? I thought we were brainstorming. Look, bottom line, the only thing that is going to help Mel now is a pant load of cold, hard cash. Even though Amber meant that as a vicious skewer, it actually served as a kebab of inspiration. As in boing, brainstorm. Since my shopping helped put Daddy in this fiscal crunch, maybe liquidating some assets would help get him out of it. It's the least I could do. After all, it's just stuff. Really, really nice stuff. Please take good care of them, send me pictures, and please dry clean only. Do you have this in a 16? Or my wife. OK, so it was going to be a long day. At least I had the support of my wonderful friends. You two stop slacking, get up, and work. Hey, drop the attitude, lady. And we're not slacking. We're demonstrating how irresistibly comfortable these girly couches are. Yeah, think of us as spokesmodels. Consider me Tyra Banks with a cool mustache. No, I'd rather consider you delivery boys. Now get up and schlep Cher's former baby grand over to the Schwartz compound. Uh-uh, see, we're not here to do that manual labor thing. Yeah, that's right. This here is rare virgin silk. And if I start switching, it's over. And this is Prada. Need I say more? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mrs. Schwartz. Where do you want it, Mrs. Schwartz? I'll be happy to show you. Follow me. Cher, excuse me for voiceovering, but I bet Mr. Schwartz is Dr. Schwartz, if you get my drift. Hey, you've got this Mark 250. I'll give you 50 cents. Oh, no, that's $250. It's got pit stains. It's going to cost me $3 for dry clean. 200? 75 cents. 100. One dollar or I'm walking. So walk. Fine. Oh. Oh. oh, you must hate me. I'm so, so sorry. You all right? Oh, I'm fine. Getting rid of a lot of stuff. It's actually very cleansing. You're amazing. If I had to stand around and watch all these strangers paw through my things, I'd be a puddle. Easy come, easy. Bye-bye. Um, I will give you 10 cents for this. I'll give you a dollar to leave. Five dollars. Deal. Hey, oh. Do you have one in strawberry blonde? 
for my wife. Oh. <laughs> the red one. Almost there. You guys doing okay? Oh, yeah. We're doing fine. We're just enjoying the scenery. It's so big. I hope it fits. I may have to move the bed. We'll help you move it. Yeah, I'm, that's what we manual laborers do. Oh, it'd be so nice to have music in the house again. It's been so quiet since my husband left me. <laughs> Mosquito! <laughs> Stop! You can't wear those together. Hand them over. Chair? Dee, I reserve the right to refuse service to anyone that tacky. Okay, but you said it was just stuff. I still can't knowingly send them to an abusive home. I mean, she would wear them to happy hour, the red onion. I just know it. Excuse me, pardon, great. Here, it's all there. Uh, don't worry, I'm not like Daddy's accountant. <sighs> Forget it, Amber, I don't want you wearing my clothes. As if, they're from my maid. She'll just be the bell of the bus with your quaint little cast-offs. <laughs> this is so awful. Excuse me. Didn't I pay you to leave? We didn't say when. Uh, this thing has a missing ear, so I'll give you a nickel for it. Snuffy's not for sale. Then Snuffy shouldn't be out here. <sighs> Neither should I. Cher, are you OK? Don't judge me. Oh. I gotta get this fixed. This gate always sticks. Can one of you guys help me? I will. Sorry, Mrs. Schwartz. Don't be. The guy in the Porsche? <laughs> My ex-husband. Let's celebrate. Everything here is a piece of me, a piece of a life I have to say goodbye to. And I don't do well with goodbyes. The dining room is a coffin. But if we blow out this wall into the foyer and then get rid of that tacky staircase, we... Oops. Motivated seller alert. Call you back, Sheila. Amber, leave now before I blow up more than that wall. Ooh, share on the edge. Scary. Exciting. Dangerous. Leaving. Cher, there you are. Daddy, you came out of your room. Thanks to you, your yard sale inspired me. Well, it depressed me. It got me off my butt and out of my pajamas. I've been on the phone all morning long trying to rustle up a job. And? I did. <gasps> Yay! Oh, excuse me. The sale is over. I repeat, the sale is over. Sir, back away from my purses. Cher, before you get too excited, this is not quite the job I had before. Well, you're still a lawyer, right? Well, yeah, but I'm not a Beverly Hills lawyer. See, until this mess is cleared up, no local firm's gonna hire me. So where is this new job? Bakersfield. <laughs> Which would be? Uh, about three hours northeast of here. Oh, Daddy, that's gonna be a long commute for you. But don't worry, because every morning I'll make you breakfast, and then there's books on tape. Honey, I'm not gonna commute. I'm moving to Bakersfield. But you can stay here. What do you mean? 
I don't want you to have to leave your friends, especially in senior year. So I talked to Dion's parents. You can stay there. But I can't leave you. No, 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 we'll see each other on weekends. But I'd miss you too much. Besides, who would take care of you? Sometimes we have to take care of ourselves. Really, I think you'd be happier here. But Daddy, I... No, 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 no. look, look, I've, I've, got a, I've got a ton of arrangements I've got to go make. Just remember, whatever you decide, fine with me. <laughs> My mom just called me with the news. This is awesome. A slumber party our entire senior year? Yay! <laughs> Wait a minute. Why am I squealing solo? This is supposed to be a duet. You know how much I'd love to spend senior year at Maison Dion, but how can I leave my dad? But this was his idea. Well, sure, because he thinks it's what I want. But the truth is, he needs me. Cher, Mel is an adult. He'll be fine without you. But me? I'd be a wreck. Oh, so would I. We've been planning this since preschool. Senior year without Cher would be like speed two without Keanu. A long, boring suck fest. Please, tell me you're not gonna move to Butchersfield. Bakersfield. <laughs> Whatever. Just tell me it's not happening. D or Daddy, how can I decide? Do I desert Daddy in his hour of need and let him succumb to the deep-fried temptations of Bakersfield? Or do I dump D on the eve of our best year ever? Dilemma Deluxe. <laughs> <laughs>